What is up my friends? So today we're going to make a short video. We are going to be testing the three different modes on the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro or Legion 5 Pro. They're both pretty representative of what you can expect performance wise. Now the little color over here indicates which mode we are using and we are currently using the blue mode which is silent mode. Now as you can hear there is some kind of a serene quiet over here. The laptop's really quiet, but there is a, well, little problem with the frames. Something is getting near. Oh no, it's good. And we're just gonna play a bit on quiet mode, see what it's like. We're also gonna use the automatic mode or as Lenovo would call it, the AI mode. What that, what that means is they have a certain database apparently of games and the AI mode kind of optimizes the performance matching the game and your system. So we're going to see how that works in a second. I think silent mode is pretty good for light games. That is just so beautiful. <laughs> But in general, it's not a very pleasant experience. I mean, this is good for when you're busy with school, but for games, well, not so much. By the way, we are playing Red Dead Redemption on the highest settings. DLSS is set to quality and well, it's ultra 1600p. So now let's try the AI mode or auto mode. This button will turn white as you will see. Take a look at the temperatures, what happens when we switch. Also take a look at the GPU, power. You can switch by pressing F and Q. Now you get, you can see the light has turned to white, which is AI mode. And you can see that the GPU power just went up. Also the thermals, they're spinning up a little bit more. This is a much better experience. We are on a good 60 FPS. And we just captured a new bob. Here, Mr. Balloon. Oh wait, that's not going in the water. Let's leave Bob there for a swim. I think he's pretty happy. We helped him to get in the water. He wasn't he wasn't ready for it yet, so we just you know pushed him a little over the edge. Uh oh. I think we're gonna need a little gun for this. There we go. Whew. So AI mode, the temperatures didn't do too much, but we got, you know, double the frames and performance is much better. So let's switch it to turbo mode or boost mode or whatever name you want to give it. It'll turn red, as you can see over here. Let's see what that does to the performance. Take a look at the GPU power and take a look at the frames. Now, the power went up pretty drastically, but the frames didn't change that much. But most likely, the temperature of the GPU is gonna go up. So to be very honest with you, for this game, I think the AI mode did a pretty good job, keeping the laptop quiet, keeping the temperatures in check. Not saying this is bad. I mean, you get definitely you definitely get more frames. I think we get like a good ten more frames. But that AI mode isn't so bad. Also, a thing I noticed—I don't know if it's doing now. If I switch to silent mode, it goes silent, but it doesn't immediately drop 
the frames. But let's see if that is the case now. Okay, it does drop the frames now straight away. It's pretty bad now. <laughs> GPU is only using 40 watts. Oh, you got your gun out. Well, I've got my AI out. Okay, don't mess with strangers. So that didn't happen. <laughs> I guess having your AI out isn't always a good thing. So take a look at the frames again. This is auto or AI mode. Now we're gonna switch over to boost mode. It's indicated by the red one. We get additional five frames, but definitely higher temperatures. So that's all I wanted to show you. Some people are interested in this, so here you go. Enjoy it. Leave it a like if you did, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.